Ladies and gentlemen, today let's talk about this concept of switching brokerages and what I learned from, you know, there's a lot of new agents that come into the business and they jump around, they switch brokerages all the time. Listen, what I really learned, if you want to be genuine and honest about it, is simply this. Most brokerages, right, are not they're just simply not going to spoon feed you deals, right? It's just not gonna happen. What they're going to do is they're going to bring you in, right? They're gonna say they're gonna do all these things for you. There's one factor that I think people forget about, and that factor is you. No brokerage that you're going to join, no matter what they say to you, no matter what they say to you, are going to spoon feed you deals. Unless you have that real personal relationship with somebody at the top, or maybe you just joined the company early on so you, so you have that preferential treatment, right? Because of longevity, you know, family ties maybe. But more or less, most of the time, where whatever company you go to, the problems you have now, you're gonna have moving forward. The business you're doing now, you may have moving forward because you bring you, right? You are bringing you wherever you go. So you're bringing yourself. So if you wanna make more money, you have to fix what's between here, what's in your heart, you have to work on yourself. And that's the honest truth because most of the time you realize that, at least what I realized moving five or six brokerages, at the end of the day, the brokers aren't gonna just spoon feed you business. You're going to have to do the hard work you're gonna to have to do the hard work on yourself. And that's my honest opinion about brokerages and what they offer. You have to be humble in the sense that it takes years to truly build companies, right? That you're not just gonna go there and start changing things, right? Obviously the stuff that most real estate companies are doing is working for them, right? And if you're coming in and learning the business or you think you know the business like most of us, you have to keep yourself humble because at the end of the day, you're going to have to do the work to get the business, to get the results that you seek. You know, in real estate, it's like a double-edged sword. Everybody has all these opportunities, but the sword is that there are too many opportunities. Sometimes you don't figure out what you have to do because you start with one thing, then you're like, I can do this, I can get this, I can get that. And the way we've built our, our business over the last 12 years, you know, into a million dollar business, buying a four unit investment property, right? All the things that I thought would happen year one, year two, didn't even happen year five with all the brokerages that we went to and all of them promising all these amazing things. It simply comes down to this. You bring you wherever you go. Nobody's going to spoon feed you. And you really have to take the time to do the work, right? Because a lot of times agents think like, I want 100% commission, but 100% of nothing is still nothing, right? In 20, my first company, I was getting paid 35%, right? So 35 or 50% of a lot of money could end up getting you paid 100,000 or more which only 15% of the population actually get. So don't listen to all the fluff you hear out there, right? It all looks good. It all looks good. Everything is a shiny object, but you just gotta pick what you're going to work on and how you're going to grow yourself and grow your business. You have to know that it's up to you to do the work, right? You could give somebody a shovel. You could give somebody you know, like bring a horse to a water where you can't make them drink the water, right? But you got to dig and you got to do the work. So if you're not willing to do that, it really doesn't matter what brokerage or team or company you're on. You have to put in the time, right? So I hope that helps. Don't forget, in real estate, everything looks good. You have to be intelligent enough to pick apart what you're going to do, what your plan is. And then you have to really, really stick to that plan, right? Because there's always like the next best thing. And the way we built a million dollar business, 
which if you think about it, everybody says they make money, but the amount of people that make over 500 grand is such a minuscule number that you probably don't even know most people that do that. So if you're looking to learn, go look at our old videos where we built a business from cold calling to growing into marketing, to growing into leadership. And um, I think at the end of the day, the road for me has been slower than most. If you beat, if you, you know, you're one of those lucky people that just come into the business, it takes off for you. That's amazing. But for the rest of you, don't get fooled by that one person who things look good for. Usually it took them like 10 to 12 years like me to even get remotely anywhere like, you know, on the mountain. And then there's just some people that are anomalies, right? You can't teach the majority to do what the anomalies do because sometimes that's just not how it goes. So if you're looking to change brokers, just remember it's not the brokerage most of the time, it's you.